Hello children. I hope you have seen all the previous video for this topic that is respiration. And in this topic we are going to discuss a very small uh, uh, part of this chapter that is a respiration in plants. So in this we are going to discuss is all the part of the plant uh, participate in the process of respiration or is there any particular system for respiration. So that we will we will see in this module. In plants, exchange of gases takes place through stomata and the large intercellular space present throughout the plant body to make sure that all cells are in contact with the air. So what is the meaning of that? If we will discuss, so we will get to know root, stem, leaves, all part of the plant body involved in gaseous exchange. So if we talk about one by one, the first thing that we have to see for the respiration in plant that is the leaves. In leaves, so which part of the leaf? Now you can see in this uh, diagram, I have shown what is that there is a stomata. You can see that in leaves, gaseous exchange takes place through stomata. These are the stomata where they are present. They are present in the on the surface of the leaf or into the uh, cell of the leaf. So stomata is what they are the aerating pores present on the epidermis of the leaf. And direction of diffusion mainly depend on what again I repeat a very important thing in case of exchange of gases in plants direction of diffusion mainly depends upon environmental condition and requirement of the plant. What is the meaning of that there is an exchange of gases take place in plants during the daytime and during the night is entirely different. So what is that what is the difference that we will see in case of leaf during the daytime what happens during the daytime you know very well there is a one process take place in the plant body that we call as a photosynthesis right in photosynthesis what happens in photosynthesis there is a uh, they take carbon dioxide right carbon dioxide take from the environment and with the help of that carbon dioxide plants used to make their food. So what happens that during the process of photosynthesis they are utilizing that and the carbon dioxide that plant itself generated during the process of respiration also consumed by during this process of photosynthesis and carbon dioxide is released. So this happens during the daytime. But when we talk about the night in that case what happens in the night there is no photosynthesis. Why there is no photosynthesis in leaves? Because there is a no sunlight. If sunlight is not there and you know very well sunlight is one of the important factor for the process of photosynthesis. So if there is no photosynthesis takes place in that case what happens? Uh, there is an elimination of carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide is going to be eliminated. So it is very frequently our elders used to say don't sit or don't sleep uh, under the tree during the night. Why? Because there is no photosynthesis take place and due to that carbon dioxide eliminated during the process of respiration is not consumed by the plant. So there is an excess of carbon dioxide just under the tree. So it is very much recommended and uh, don't sleep uh, during the night time under the tree. So this is the reason behind that. So respiration in plants in case of their roots. How does they respire? So this is the uh, diagram that I am showing. In this diagram there is what? There is a one thing. If you see this diagram there is what? These are the roots right? And roots in where they are present? They are present inside the soil. You can see in this diagram right? So what happens when the roots are present, roots are penetrating inside the soil. So there is a space present between that. So exchange of gases in case of roots take place by the process of diffusion from the air. This is air from the air present in between the soil particles. So oxygen is going to diffuse into the root hairs and passes into the root cell from where carbon dioxide come out right. So this is the way by that uh, respiration take place in the roots. Another diagram now you can see in this diagram also what is uh, it is very much clear in this one also. You can see this is a root right root 
present where present inside the soil these are the soil particles the space present in the soil particles air space so what happens by the simple diffusion why the simple diffusion is responsible because you know very well exchange of gases take place uh, uh, due to the diffusion uh, due to the concentration gradient what what is the meaning of that why the oxygen is getting inside of the root through the root hairs because from the outside of the root means in between the soil particles in between the air space present the Uh, present in uh, in the soil what happens the oxygen is more in comparison to the root so due to the concentration gradient oxygen is more where oxygen is present in the in between the soil particles so oxygen start diffusing from the higher concentration to the lower concentration because roots are in demanding and same with the carbon dioxide when we talk about the carbon dioxide due to the respiration carbon dioxide is excess where inside the root so it will come out from root to the soil particles or the air space present in between the soil particles so this is simple diffusion process by that respiration take place in roots so respiration in stem if we talk about the respiration in stem so in simple way there are the uh, structure present or a small pore found present where on the uh, stem so these structures are actually known as lenticels and these structures are responsible for the gaseous exchange in stem just like the stomata present on the leaves so this is the same way by the diffusion process stem also respire they take the oxygen from the uh, higher concentration and release the carbon dioxide from inside to the outside due to the diffusion concentration gradient so this is the respiration in stem now then in this module we have seen how the plants respire in spite of they don't have any well defined respiratory system but each and every part of the plant body needs that energy Uh, and that energy comes from the breakdown of the food and for that there is a need of oxygen so how the oxygen reaches to all part of the body of plant so this is the way by that root stem and leaves of the plant respire so here is a uh, some check points i am uh, showing uh, these questions you have to write in your notebooks and you have to give the answer all the answers is in this module if you will go through very thoroughly if you will listen it very uh keenly so you will get to know all the answer of this uh, checkpoints so first is that what is the difference between the external and internal respiration second is the list the factors on which diffusion in plants depends third one what happens with carbon dioxide and oxygen in plants during day time and last one is the what are lenticels so these are the few questions in next module we will meet with the respiration in animals Thank you